morning, YouTube. <laughs> Day two. <sighs> Taking my vitamins. And I got Echo, I just tapped it. Echo earbuds, they're really cool. I know like AirPods, is that what they're called? Um, the Apple Buds, Are they AirPods, I guess, I don't know. I had some of those too, but I hate to say this, but these Echo earbuds are pretty cool. All right, stay in the light. We gotta get out the door. She wishes she could go with me, but she can't. It's too far. She only got three legs. That's okay. I'll be back soon. So I'm starting off with my five minute walking warm up. And uh, then we get into the run walk run using this app called Runna. And then, um, and then you finish with a five minute walking cool down, which is, it's kind of nice. It's a gorgeous morning out. Very cool this morning. Um, it's been so hot lately, but this morning is almost chilly, which is perfect for running. And uh, a little bit overcast, but that's okay. Just a beautiful morning for, for a run. All right, we're getting ready to run. Five minutes to cool down and uh, yesterday when I was doing my cool down I was still walking at my fast walk pace um, now I'm just cool down means cool down take it slow catch your breath good run today it was definitely harder today because I do the five minute warm-up so I walk at a very brisk walking pace and then I do two minutes running one and a half minute walk times five and then I do my five minute cool down walk and uh, so yeah I mean but that's the point you're building up your endurance and your strength and conditioning your body and you know gradually making it harder and harder as you go till it becomes easier and easier um, but it does feel good to be out here again as hard as it is and it's always been hard for me running never ever came natural but uh, it does feel good just to be out here just to be running hearing the birds uh, just out in the elements I used to love running in rain and snow all right I'm gonna take this time just to chill out I will talk to you guys when I get back home. Okay, this morning's run was pretty good. It was, um, maybe I already explained this out there, but it was a five minute warm up. I did explain this out there. Five minute warm up where I do a fairly fast pace for a walk um, for five minutes. And then I do, I was today I was doing a two minute run with a one and a half minute walk. I had to do that five times. <clears throat> Whereas the first time I did it, my first running vlog day was, it was um, <clears throat> it was a minute run and a minute and a half walk six times. 
today was a two minute run one and a half minute walk five times and then um and then my five minute cool down that's only that's only about two miles that's only about two miles that i'm doing um as i gradually work through these weeks it's an eight week training program for a 5k but I, i'm not um oh i got take my wallet out of my pocket it's hurting my butt cheek i'm not um so although i would like to run a race my goal isn't to race that's i'm not working up to that goal my goal is to take my time and make this long term so i can stay healthy longer um it seemed like the last time and this is my fault this is it's it's my the, the way i i think and i push myself too hard um Myself and a lot of other runners that I ran with in, in my community, we all pushed ourselves pretty hard back then. And that's because I was always training for a race. So my goal isn't to race, although I want to do a race with my daughter, but my goal is to make this very long term, um, as long as I can, because it's very good for me in many ways. Although it's, it's hard, um, it just clears my head. It makes me feel good that I'm doing something good for myself and my body, and it's just awesome. So anyway, today's run went well, um, and I was thinking while I was out there, I, I say I'm starting off as a beginner, and that's not quite fair to say, because essentially I feel like I'm just starting off again, but I have knowledge that a beginner doesn't have. So I have knowledge uh, of um, running proper running form, um, proper shoes, uh, breathing techniques, uh, techniques to reserve energy while you're running. I have knowledge of these things that I still use that is helping me um, as a runner, whereas a beginner runner won't necessarily have this knowledge. So for, for a true beginner, um, this is probably a little harder if, if you're if you're doing something similar to this, it's it's probably a little harder than um, it is for me. Um, so, I mean, although physically I feel like a beginner because I've kind of fallen off and I, and and I've gained quite a bit of weight and um, stuff like that. So, um, I I'm not a beginner in that sense, but or I am a beginner in that sense, but I'm not a beginner in the in the sense of knowledge. I I do have um, a lot of knowledge of of ways of making the run go a little smoother. Uh, my daughter is just starting out. She is a true beginner. She's never ever ran before. Although she did a 5K recently, she didn't even train for that. So, um, but she's a lot younger, and that helps. But um, uh, she don't have the knowledge of of running techniques and um, uh, breathing techniques and. Um, you know there's there's things that you do that I do naturally now because I ran for so many years in the past that um, that help me reserve my energy while I'm running and those are things that you, over time you, you have to learn so uh, th and that's kind of what this running vlogs about I mean mostly for me and I know that's maybe a little selfish but it is for me and my health and to lose weight and to look better and to feel better but it's also for people like my daughter, um, who's just literally just a brand new beginner to running, to give you some advice and to help you um, stick with it. So um, breathing techniques are, are things you can look up on the internet. Breathing techniques are things that you can, uh, things that you practice to help with breathing. And, and in mid-run, taking them deep, real deep lung filled breaths um sometimes you have to do that or or i would suggest that you do that hold on i got kitties in the nerd cave i would suggest that you practice breathing techniques um proper form is is trying to keep your body upright the best you can um uh it helps helps with breathing you don't want to slunch over plus slouching and leaning forward and slunching over while you're running um uses unnecessary energy that you need to reserve for the run so keeping your body upright um, everybody has a different stride when they run and um, that's where you want to go and into a sports shoe store 
where they sell running shoes and um, Fleet Feet is a, a great one and that's where I learned the type of shoes that I need for for the way I run um, you know if you're if your feet kind of do this as you as you place your feet or maybe lean in they'll look at all that stuff and they'll fit you with the proper shoes and proper shoes are uh, very important when you're running um, is probably one of the most important probably the most important piece of running gear that you need um, is good proper shoes <clears throat> makes all the difference um, what else uh, shoes uh, running running a uh, form um, breathing techniques um, keeping your body as loose as possible um, a lot of people when they run they they tense up their arms while they're running and if you can keep your arms loose and and throughout the run um, there's a lot of times I just shake my arms out while I'm running to get them loosened back up and keep going um, that will help reserve energy as well so um, uh, th those are just a few things to keep in mind. Uh, keep your, try to keep your body as loose as possible. Keep your form up straight, upright, and and as straight as possible. Don't lean forward or slouch. And breathe, breathe. Um, and you don't want to uh, on these training runs. You don't want to run to where you couldn't carry on a conversation. You want to you want to have a conversational pace. That means like you're not huffing and puffing. You're you're at a, a pace that you could talk to someone if they were right next to you um, without uh, you know breathing heavy <clears throat> um, that way um, you can go the distance um, a pace pace is something you'll figure out um, as time goes on and, and if you want to set PRs for races and change pace and all that that's not what I'm trying to do um, for people who want to set PRs in races and stuff there's you know then you start watching pace and numbers and things like that at, at this time and I did that at one time it was all about the numbers um, when I was racing before and doing big races and and little races and mid races it was all about the numbers and it was all about PRs and getting better and going faster um, this time I'm not really worried about all that I'm worried about making this last for as long as I can make it last getting my body back into shape, trimming down, and feeling good. And uh, that's what's important to me. Although I will run a race with my daughter. Um, that that I look very very much look forward to. Um, I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but that will happen. Um, I'm not sure how often that will happen either. For her, maybe quite often, and I'll be at every race. But for me, I don't know if I want to do a lot of races. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Once I trim down and I'm feeling good out there, maybe I will. But I don't want to get it back into watching the numbers and making things faster and better and, and all that because that just leads to injury for someone my age. And I don't need that. Alrighty guys, that was a good run. I know this is a little bit of a longer video and I really don't know what I'll talk about in the next runner's vlog. I think I'll do these runner vlogs for maybe a couple weeks and then taper off because I'm going to start doing my family vlogs again. We'll see how it goes. Um, maybe I'll just keep doing runner vlogs along with the family vlogs. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I hope you keep running. I hope you're feeling good out there. I hope you're feeling good about yourself. And do feel good about yourself. Even if you're not where you want to be, feel good that you're trying and you're putting the effort into trying to get to a specific goal. Um, that's A lot of people won't do that. And if you're out there doing that, that's amazing. And that makes you an amazing person. So um, enjoy the run and uh and uh keep going keep pushing and some days would be terrible hard and some days would be incredible um but always know that what you're doing is good for your body and is a very positive thing all right guys we'll see you in the next run which is a day away